We've all been there. Some worse than others, of course. I'm talking about the bottom of your soul, where there's nowhere left to go. Yeah? <laughs> Winning Powerball ticket? No, no! Two tickets to Africa for both of us! Africa? The furnace! Yeah, uh, it's um, it's a race, uh, 150 miles across the biggest animal reserve in yeah. the world. You run with uh, buffaloes, lions, elephants, rhinos, leopards. leopards. It's the big five, you know. Have a safe flight. Hey, Merry Christmas. Oh. <laughs> have ended up in a wheelchair. Why didn't I just die? Even before I met her, I buried her husband. That's if you can call being married to a man for two days your husband. I hate you! Did you, uh, say something? What do you want? I believe in God, and I believe in you. If you let me out, I'd like to help you out of your prison. Deep chest, chest out. out. Some more. Come on. Courage does not always roar. Sometimes, courage is a quiet voice at the end of the day, saying I will try again tomorrow, and the tomorrow after that tomorrow if necessary. trainer to succeed in all of this. They say for all humans to come to Africa is for them to come home. Mary must have felt that better than most. Alone in the wilderness, surrounded by the ancient bush and its wild animals. The African bush isn't to be trifled with. It'll get into your head, pick you up, spin you around, chew you up, and spit you out. It'll snuff your life out in a split second. You're gonna have to acquire a whole new set of survival skills. You're gonna have to learn how to survive on 20 hours of sleep in a week of running. You're gonna have to learn how to balance your water intake with the amount of weight you can carry. You're gonna have to get through this on 25,000 calories just, just to survive. And then, of course, there's the heat. Getting lost, eaten by a wild animal in the bush. I mean, do you really, really want this? And are you ready for this? That sounds awesome. 